Dear child of God, the Lord is bringing you deliverance. The Lord is changing everything that may have caused you to have pain in your life. There shall be a deliverance from the Lord, a great deliverance, if you would only call on the name of the Lord. The word of God in Joel chapter 2 verse 32 says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever, my God, dear child of God, it says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. What is that thing that is troubling you right now? What is that situation? What is that thing you have been praying and asking God to deliver you from? Why don't you call on the name of Jesus? Why don't you call on the name of the Lord this very moment? And you shall be delivered. For he says, For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said. Dear child of God, deliverance is coming to you. Deliverance is coming to your life. Deliverance is coming to your family. All you need to do is to call on the name of the Lord. You and your family, you and your entire household, the scripture says, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Every single one that God will call today shall be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. But it starts with you calling the name of the Lord. It starts with you calling the name of Jesus. Dear child of God, do not shut your mouth. Because it says at the mention of that name, every knee must bow. And every tongue must confess that he is the Lord. Dear child of God, do not shut your mouth. Because as you mention that name, deliverances will be coming. Dear child of God, the change that you have been praying for will come. It says everyone who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved and the word of god says that the name of the lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and they are saved dear child of god what is that thing that you need a deliverance from today call on the name of the lord and you're going to that strong tower where your safety has been waiting for you you climb upon that mountain that mountain where your deliverance is waiting for you Obadiah 1 verse 17 says, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Dear child of God, you will not only be delivered, but you will also possess your possession. Everything that are meant for you, that were denied you for a long time, the things that were signed phoned, the blessings of yours that were taken from you, as you call on the name of the Lord, the scripture says anyone, whosoever, call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Dear child of God, there will be a divine touch. There will be a divine intervention from the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be a definite change, a quick change. As you call on the name of the Lord, he will make haste to help you. He will make haste to save you. Dear child of God, trust in God. Trust in his promises because he will redeem you and he will bring to pass everything that he had promised you. He said after the deliverance, you will possess your possession. He said after the deliverance, everything that are meant for you, everything meant for your family, you would receive them. Do not shut your mouth, dear child of God, because the power is in your mouth. Call on the name of the Lord. Call Jesus today and say, save me, save my family, take us from this oppression, deliver my life, deliver my everything, and you will see God deliver you, dear child of God. You will see God turn everything around. That young man called on the name of the Lord, and he was saved. He was taken out from the miry clay. David saw a transformation because he could call on his helper. He cried to God, and God heard him. He says, call unto me and I will answer you and he will deliver you. Dear child of God, do not shut your mouth because God wants to deliver you. God wants to change every situation of your life that needs a change, that needs a definite change. God wants to take that circumstance away from you that has caused pain in your home, that has caused pain in your marriage. Just call on the name of the Lord. In that trouble you have found yourself, 
Call on the name of the Lord and he will deliver you. Psalm 50 verse 15 says, And call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Dear child of God, he said, Call on the name, call on my name, call on me in that day of trouble, in that day of pain, in that day of sorrow, in that day of affliction, and I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. God wants to deliver you so that you can glorify him, so that you can praise him, so that you can lift your voice unto him and glorify his holy name. So call on him today and say, Lord, you know the trouble I'm in. Please come save me. Come deliver me and come turn everything around. Maybe you have had issues with the authorities. Just call on the name of the Lord. Maybe you were guilty. Just call on the name of the Lord. He will show you mercy. He will show you compassion. He said, I would have mercy upon whom I would have mercy. He said, I will show compassion to the one I will show compassion to. So call on the name of the Lord. Do not let anything stop you, dear child of God. Just say, Father, please come touch me. Come transform me. Like you said, whoever shall call on you shall be saved, shall be delivered. God's word in Acts 2 verse 21 says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. He said, whosoever. So call on the name of the Lord and say, God, you know my current situation. You know the current predicament I'm in right now. Please come save me. Come transform me. Come deliver me. Come change my story. We need an uplift. We need a change. We need a transformation. And I have this good news for you, dear child of God. God will come through for you. God will change that situation. He will turn everything around. Your Savior will show up and he will give you a testimony. Dear child of God, you would have a reason to rejoice. You would have a reason to dance because God came through for you. As long as you believe in him, as long as you have faith in him, he said he will not put you to shame. So call on the name of the Lord. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. As found in Romans chapter 10 verse 13. And if you would call on the name of the Lord today, just mention that situation. Is it your marriage? Call on him and mention the situation of your marriage. You shall be saved. You shall see a deliverance. Is it in your finances? Dear child of God, call on the name of the Lord and mention your finances and you shall be saved. Just mention it because that name given to the Lord, that name of Jesus is above every name and every other knee shall bow when that name is mentioned. So call on the name of that situation. Is it in your health? Just call on the name of the Lord and you will see a transformation. And whatever that situation of your health is, it will bow away. Dear child of God, God will come through for you. As long as you believed, he says that you will not be ashamed. You will not be put to shame. As long as you have faith in him, as found in Romans 10 verse 11, he said that you will not be ashamed. So go out there and call on him and say, God, please save me. If you do not save me, no one will be able to save me. If you do not change this situation, no one will be able to change this situation. I call on you today with the whole of my heart. I cry to you. Please turn everything around. Please visit my family. Visit my life. Visit my current situation and give me a testimony. I want to see a change. I want to be liberated. Dear child of God, I want to assure you. As he said, that when you call on the name of the Lord, you will be saved and you will be delivered. That deliverance will come and God will turn that darkness into light in the mighty name of Jesus. That morning, he will turn it into dancing in the mighty name of Jesus. He will give you joy and gladness. He will put dancing on your feet and take away that spirit of heaviness in the mighty name of Jesus. The sadness will be gone away from you. Yes, the terrible pain, the affliction will be gone away from you. That thing that made you become very terrible, dear child of God, they will be gone away from you. 
and it shall come to pass, as the word of God says in Joel 2 verse 32, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. As the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call, you shall hear God call your name and bring you that liberation. You shall hear God tell you today that my child, it is over. He will tell you, my son, it is over. My daughter, it is over. The change has come. The liberation has come. All that you have been praying for has come. And now you would enjoy your life. You would enjoy your existence. You would enjoy living in the mighty name of Jesus. You'll be the next to testify. You'll be the next to get that visitation from the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The pain, the sorrow will be gone because the Lord has heard that you have called on him and he will save you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations, because it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.